That was Eugene McGuinness playing Sugar Sugar Plum. Let's have a chat with the man himself. I think it would be right, Mr. McGuinness, if we just had a little toast to ourselves here. I Given that so. your name is Eugene McGuinness. You know, makes sense. Cheers, brother. Cheers. Good to see you. Thank you very much. Cheers, everybody. So, Eugene, that was the first ever performance in this feeling. Was that special for you? How was it? It was special, you know. Um, yeah, I feel good making my debut here. No, Your debut as well. It is my debut as it's well. It's like yeah. a post match analysis. It is. We're like, like Alan, Alan Mark Lawrence. And you bet Mark, I bet Alan Hansen then. Yeah. It's not a bad Oh, I want to be Alan Stern. Diabolical performance yeah. there from Eugene <laughs> McGuinness. <laughs> the Venom was terrible. Yeah, anyway, cool. Eugene, now we always ask people about the best gig they've played, but we're more interested in the worst gig hmm. you've ever played. What is the worst gig you've done? I think one time whenever I played like one of my first London shows, we got like a guy from a label or something. I was a bit green at the time. I was like, oh, there's a guy from Label coming. And um, I think there was like him and my mum. And literally that's about it. And then some, Big crowd. And some guy like mopping the floor at the back. Yeah. I just remember playing, going, hmm, this is gonna happen. Did you play as if it was Wembley? Oh, yeah, definitely, always. You yeah. Know, which probably wasn't the right thing to do. No. Probably just had some little gentle banter, ease the mood, <laughs> lube him in. I should ask as well then, what is the best gig you've played so far in your career? Probably quite recently. We were in Paris. We did a show, mm -hmm. um, like a sold out show in Paris, which mm -hmm. was. Um, for me, it's quite a new thing that mm -hmm. selling that shows, and let alone somewhere like Paris. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. It's been a great couple of years, hasn't it? I mean, if there's one thing you had to pick out as your sort of greatest achievement so far, what would it be? Uh, sugar plum. Yeah. Probably just a tune. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Um, yeah, I don't know. Just the record itself. I took my time with the record, so um, so it was sort of like I was trying to do the best thing that I could mm. possibly do. Really, kind of crack the whip on myself a bit. So probably the record and. That coming out yeah. was a big thing for me. So usually you spent a bit of time on the road with a lot of other bands, BDI, I think, Sabian, Arctic Monkeys. How do they all differ being on the road with them? What's it like hanging about with the different bands? Um, it's sort of a big deal with the BDI thing. When I was playing in Miles' band, that was, a, that was our, one of our first big tours. Yeah. Like Liam Garrett's first gig I ever went to was Oasis. So that was kind of scary. And with Kasabian and Arctic Monkeys, that's a bit different because like, it's music that I like, but yeah. it not, hasn't got the same sort of like, 15 year old sort of fear factor of Liam Gallagher because whenever he walked in the room it was like Batman or something you know, <laughs> you know. so um yeah no it's all good though because like um you learn a lot you know it sounds kind of boring but there's a reason why those bands are so good and so successful yeah. you see the things going on backstage that kind of make them so good 